Hey everyone, how's everyone doing? Um, I'm sure by now everybody has heard about the uh, Apple announcement this past Tuesday. And I know a couple of Apple fans were pretty disappointed with the iPhone 4S. The big keynote was, um, I believe that they were emphasizing the iOS 5, the improved hardware, and the um, Siri voice assistant, which I don't want to start a operating system war. But a lot of those, for all us Android fans, seemed like a lot of the uh, new features from iOS 5 were borrowed from Android. And um, especially with the notification system that they were talking about. And also the voice assistant, Siri. Google has had that, or Android I should say, has had voice assistant since what like one or two years ago so I'm, we're gonna talk about one of those applications so I'm gonna unlock my phone and we're gonna go over Vlingo which is an app that you can get in the Android market a lot of the Samsung Galaxy S2 owners already have Vlingo um, provided for in their uh, software so I'm gonna go here and you see that icon here next to phone that is for Vlingo again I am running go go launcher EX so I'm gonna hit that icon right there and there you go it takes you to Vlingo like I said, you can get this from the um, Android market, and it's a really neat um, voice. So we're going to go here. You see that? Well, first of all, let me take you to, after you install Vlingo, it'll, what you want to do is go here and go to settings so you go to settings here I apologize for the blurry camera I'm still using my old um, Windows camera phone until I get a new one and you're gonna scroll down till you get to advanced settings once you get to advanced settings you see the where it says install TTS that's probably for install text-to-speech you wanna click that and once you click it, it'll take you to the Android market and it'll have like a voice synthesizer speech enabled or something like that. And you want to install the US language pack or if you're in the Europe or if you're in the UK, they have a English UK language and I believe they have a Spanish um, language pack. So I'm going to go back. And I'm going to show you what Vlingo can do. So pretty much, you can have it send messages, call someone, find restaurants, find businesses, or do a search. You can have it update your social networks, which is right there. Sorry, again, like I said, for the blurriness. Get answers, open up your apps, get directions get a taxi, book a hotel, buy movie tickets. But what you want to do is go up back over here again. Go to in car, in car mode, which is this, which has like a little steering wheel symbol. And you're going to click that. You click it. And there it is. It's on in car mode now. Now from in car mode, you could do the same things, only the... Um, the symbols are a lot bigger. See that? You got Safe Reader enabled, so you can enable Safe Reader. And what Safe Reader does is, if you hit this,
and then go back. Now you'll see this icon here. I'm sorry if it's blurry. It's like right there next to my Viper. It's a icon of a speaker or a sound like the volume sound. And when that icon is there, what happens is every time you get a text or an email, it could read it out for you. So you don't have to like, you know, try to read it from your phone while you're driving. And it's got the other stuff, settings, wake up command, brightness, Bluetooth, you can turn it on. And there's right here it has all your latest text. So if you wanted to read it out to you, it'll read it out to you. So I'm going to make it read one. Let's see. This is from NFL Mobile. New message from 4635. Message 4635 NFL Mobile South Dakota Will McFadden take off in Houston. HTTP colon slash slash NFL dot VZW dot com slash T slash SD. Text stop to quit. See, so you don't really have to read while you're driving. You can just listen to your... um messages then the other cool thing is this when Vlingo is enabled with text-to-speech you'll have that red dot right there and all you do is say hey Vlingo Master, how may I serve you? okay so that is not the default I um changed the default which was when you say hey Vlingo for the Samsung Master. Galaxy Okay. So when you say that, the default I believe is um, what would you like to do? For the Samsung Galaxy S2 owners, they would say, "Hey Galaxy," and it would do the same thing. It would say, "What would you like to do?" But I went into settings and personalized it for myself. So, like, if you go here to settings and you go scroll down to speak intro where is that um, where was that you'd go to I'm trying to look for it here what was that hey Vlingo oh here it is Sorry about that. Customize main prompt. And you see right there it says customize main prompt. And underneath that the letters are pretty small. And like I said the camera I have is not too good. But it says master how may I serve you. If you click that customize main prompt. You can change it to say whatever you want it to say. I try to have it like speak in another language. But it couldn't enunciate the words pretty good. And I also from the settings turned off safe. Uh, filter or whatnot, so you can make it pretty much say bad words too. <laughs> um, I don't know if you wanted to do that or if it's, you know. Anyways, we'll go back, and I'll sh demonstrate that for you. Hey, Vlingo. Master, how may I serve you? Launch Angry Birds. Open Angry Birds. So there it is, and now it's going to launch Angry Birds. So that's it. Um, let me get out of this. And uh, it'll do other stuff, like I said, too. It can make, you can have it make calls, send text messages, or navigate and find things. Um, I don't know how deeply Siri will be integrated into iOS 5. And from what I hear, or from what I've read, only the I/O um, iPhone 4S owners will be able to get Siri for free with iOS 5. The iPhone, older iPhone 4 owners, will probably have to f pay for it. So that kind of sucks. Um, anyways, that's my review for today, or the tip for today. For all you Android users, go out to the Android market and get Blingo. All right, take care. Then thanks for watching.